This one's kind of funny though. This, I made this when I was in college. And it was about how young girls try to look sexy and dress like they're old, and how older people try to look sexy and dress like they're young. <laughs> I consider myself an artist and a muralist, but first an artist. <laughs> when I was like 16, and my teacher used to always yell at me for drawing in class, but then this one day she came over and actually saw what I was drawing and then was like, wow, this is really good, and then brought me to the art teacher. I would draw with pencils and ballpoint pens all the time, and then painting came super naturally to me. When I was in high school, I had a counselor and they asked me, what do you like to do? And so I said, I like art and I like shopping. And so I decided to go to art school because you can't go to shopping school. I like to take things that I see in the world that I'm really drawn to, whether it's like plants or animals or a person, and then I like to put it all into one picture. different styles going on because I really like to draw line drawings but then I like to do little paintings I can do realistic stuff I make videos too I make sculptures like I made that sculpture over there I made this before I ever went scuba diving and it's kind of like a coral reef people say I also love painting murals but I'm not as in love with the materials of painting murals so when I paint a mural I'll usually draw something that's like this big and then I kind of have it in my mind what it's supposed to look like but if you looked at it it would just kind of look like a scribble and then after that I'll usually like take it onto the computer and do it in Photoshop and I just found all these different flowers from Greece and then I like took a picture of myself standing like this and found this like beautiful woman from Greece and I put it all together and so when it turns out it's like this. I hope in my art when people see it it just brings some beauty into their life and then secondly I would hope they maybe look into it a little bit further and try to see the message that I might be trying to say. I don't want to just be sharing all of these depressing facts about the world with people, but you have to know about it or else nothing is going to change. In my personal experience, you have to stick with it because if you're that drawn to it, you should be doing it. And there's tons of people out there who are not doing what they love to do. I mean, I just try to do what I love to do, and I hope it can maybe inspire other people to do what they love to do.